Hello, this is tips in pool that will dramatically improve your game. So let's begin. First, what, what you want to do is, uh, you want to approach the shot from the front. Okay, always be in the front. Don't approach the shot from the side, approach it from the front. That's the first tip. I talk more about that tip in another video. Simple trick to improve your game, okay? Watch that video. The second, second tip is, when you go down to shoot, okay, you, you bend down, okay, you bend down, you want to keep it still before you make the strokes, okay, the pre-strokes. Many players, they go down and they start stroking before they are fully down with the chin. So you go down, pause, and then you start stroking, okay, and then when you pull the trigger, you keep everything still. You keep everything still when you pull the trigger, okay, first make the pre strokes you pull the trigger, everything is still, and then you move up, okay? So the common mistake is uh, many, many players move, move up before they have finished stroking the, the ball, okay? They, they go like this, they go down, they go down like this, okay, and then move up before finishing the stroke and that's a very common problem uh, even among many many good players okay many good players do this so the, the problem is that they when they go down when they move down too early they start they start stroking the ball like this too early and then automatically they move up with their chin before uh, stroking the cue ball and that that's a very difficult thing for them to stop doing but if if you start if you uh, make a pause before go, going down before starting the strokes you make a pause then it is much easier to stay still with the head in in the follow through okay so if you go like this pause and then you make strokes very easy to stay still in the follow through but if you go like this if you go like this if you go like this and then you very, very difficult to stay still, very difficult for me, okay, very difficult. So, to, help, to prevent you, to prevent you from uh, lifting up your head in the follow through, you want to have the pause while going down, while going down, and here you have the pause. And this, this helps you to keep your head still in the follow through, okay. So, it's about the beginning, how you approach the shot, you approach the shot from the front, like I said, from the front, and also, you want to bend forwards while bending down. You bend forwards, and you also can you can also move forwards. This will improve aiming. I talk about that in another video. So it's, this will improve aiming, and then pause here, and then you make the strokes, and then you, it's very easy to keep your head still. Okay, very easy. Very easy to keep everything still. But uh, if you if you if you move move down, move down like this. Uh, then, then naturally you, you, you also want to move up in the same way, okay? You want to move up in the same way as you went down. You go down, you want to move up in the same way because it is like a ball that is bouncing uh, down and up, down and up, you see? But if you have a pause when you go down, pause here, pause and then up. Then you don't have this bouncing movement in your body and that helps you stay still. So you go down, still, stay still here, and then you can just shoot, stay still, and then you go up, okay? Yeah, so that was the second great tip you have, uh, how to dramatically improve your game, okay? So that was the technique advice, and I, I have also something else here, okay? Many people, many people, Many players use a too long bridge, too long bridge. They go like this, okay, very, very exaggerated. This, this is how many players play, very long bridge. And this will uh, add errors in the stroke. So if, if they aim a little bit different, they will get a miscue here. You see, ah, I didn't even hit the cue ball, you see? So very bad to have a long bridge, very bad for that. 
uh, it's much better to use a very short bridge like this, okay, very short bridge like this, okay? And many, many players, they use a very long bridge and then they mix short strokes, okay, short strokes. And then they, they have wasted this entire length of, of the bridge. This, this is wasted. And this, this can instead be used to improve accuracy by just moving shorter. So what you want to do is you want to use the entire length of the, of the bridge, entire length, so the tip actually comes over here. Then you use the entire length of the bridge instead of making too short strokes. Okay? So instead of, instead of going, going like this, you can go like this. Use the entire length of the bridge and this will increase accuracy tremendously. Big, big difference in accuracy you will get. So why don't many players do that? It is because they don't, they don't approach the shot straight on. Okay, they approach the shot from the side and then of course they need a long bridge to aim easier. Because if you have a long bridge you can actually aim easier. But, but if you approach, approach the shot from the front you don't need to use the cue to aim. Because you already aim while you are standing up. Okay, you see, you are standing up here, you are aiming the shot while standing up and you move forward straight. Okay? Towards the shot, you move straight, and then you don't need to aim using the cue when you are down. Okay, a common common mistake is to aim while you are down on the shot, and you you start aiming. That is the common beginner mistake. Never do that. After you have put down the cue, the aim should be finished. You should not be doing any adjustments while down and stroking. When you are down and stroking, this is only for speed control, nothing else. I can make any shot without any pre-strokes at all. Without any of these pre-strokes. I can make any shot, but speed control is more difficult. Okay, I will show you. Go down. I can make everything like that, but speed control is not good. So that is why many players, uh, that is why all players do those strokes to fine-tune the speed on the cube, okay, they go like this, fine-tune the speed, this is only, only for speed, only for speed, nothing else, only for speed, not for aiming, and you actually, you don't need, you don't, you don't, you never need to aim while you are down, you never need that, and therefore you can use, you can use a very short bridge, because you, you are not aiming while you are down, okay, you are not aiming while you are down. Okay, if, if I went down without, without looking, I'm blind, I'm not looking at all, I go down like this, then of course it is very difficult to aim when you are down. You need to do the aiming while you are standing up. Now I'm standing up, I'm facing the shot straight on. Okay, I'm looking at the shot, I'm moving, I'm bending forwards here, towards the shot, okay? I have already finished aiming while I'm, uh, while I'm up here, okay? Up here, I have finished aiming. Then I just need to bend down straight, bend down straight, put the cue down straight. Everything you put down straight, you move forwards into the shaft. You have finished aiming. You are not looking at the cue anymore. So you can use a very short bridge and you have perfect aiming. You, have, you still have perfect aiming even with a short bridge. And with this short bridge, you can improve accuracy because less, less things can go wrong. If, uh, if you have a very long bridge, many things can go wrong here, you see? You see here, I'm moving my hand like this. The, the tip is moving a lot. But if my, my tip is like this, and I move like this, tip is moving very little, okay? Very little. So look, look at this, look at this. Very short bridge, my, my hand is moving a lot here. Hand is moving a lot. And I will still hit the cue ball, you see? But if I do the same thing, if I do the same thing with a long bridge, I move the hand like this. Whoa, look at that. Look where the tip is aiming. You see that? Very far away from the cue ball. Okay, so here's another tip that will dramatically improve your game. It is by using as little spin as possible on every single shot, okay? Many players, they are like, uh, they like to use a lot of, lot of spin. So, let's see. Nine is there. Okay, they go like this. 
and then they use extreme side spin, extreme left spin here, like this, to come into the shot here. But that is that's okay, position, position is okay, but it is not good to use extreme side spin. That is not good, because eventually you will not be hitting the center of the pocket in many shots. So, what you rather do is, you want to keep as close as possible to center ball, but not, not exactly center ball. You want to use a little, little side spin, and little top spin or draw, depending on the, on the shot. Okay, so instead of going directly towards the three ball with extreme spin, you use very, very little, very little spin, and you go one, two rails here instead. And you will hit the center of the pocket more often if you do it this way. Okay, so here I use very little, almost almost center ball, uh, one, a half a tip of left spin only, and a little half a tip of top spin on this shot. Like that. And you will hit center, center of the pocket more often when you do like that. And I, I got good position here, you see? There was no need to use extreme side spin to come in, into the angle of the three ball. Because uh, if you use extreme side spin, you will not hit the center of the pocket as often. You will not do that, okay? Impossible. So I will show you with extreme left spin, and I will show you that it is not possible to hit center of the pocket. It is not possible, you see? Ooh, I hit that way too thin there. So very inconsistent to use extreme side spin. So never do that. There are many, many shots like that that, with, that amateurs, amateurs do, and they, they lose because it is not uh, consistent. Using extreme speed is not consistent. And another example here. Here they use extreme side spin. And extreme top spin, extreme right spin. To go, to go like that, okay? But that is not uh, consistent, okay? I, I only could do that because I have done that so many times. But uh, many amateurs, uh, many amateurs, they can't control it. Uh, it's very inconsistent. So what you rather do is, you want to do the same shot, but use less, less side spin and more speed. You shoot harder. You shoot harder and use less spin. Okay, so here I will show you the same shot. Shoot harder and use less spin. Like that. That is perfect. Perfect, you see? Much better position here, okay? So that is how you dramatically improve your game by using only as little spin as is needed and use more speed. You shoot harder, but you use less speed, okay? On some shots, of course, you need to shoot softer and use more speed, but that, that doesn't happen often at all. In some examples like where, yeah, the ball is close to the pocket, and close to the cushion, then you can shoot softer and use more side speed to get pocket speed. But that is only on those shots that it works. If the balls are far away, if the ball is far away from any any rail, then you can shoot. It doesn't matter if you shoot soft or hard. It is it is equally easy to make the shot. So here. I can just shoot harder and use less spin and I will get better accuracy, okay? So, yeah, even in, instead of uh, using, I will show you. Here you want position to the three ball. Instead of shooting softer and using extreme right spin like this. Instead of doing that, you shoot harder. You shoot harder uh, and use less spin, okay? So I need to go. So, this is the end of the video. Subscribe to my channel. And see you next time. Goodbye.